Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to show you how to make this delicious Thai fried rice, which of course is vegan. I wanted to take fried rice and incorporate it with flavors that you can find in Thai cuisine, such as lemongrass, ginger, and lime. So the first thing you're gonna do is chop up your veggies like you would normally do in any fried rice. I had a lot of veggies that were gonna go bad, like green pepper, some baby carrots, some broccoli, but of course you can add whatever ingredients you want. If you want a full list of ingredients as well, well as the instructions on how to make this fried rice, I will have a blog post linked down below, so be sure to check that out at the end of this video. So the first thing we're going to do is toast off some cashew nuts. Cashew nuts add a really nice crunch to the fried rice, which I really love. Just be sure to constantly be shaking the pan so they don't burn, and you want to cook this on a low heat. Once you're done, set that aside and let's cook off our veggies in a little bit of oil. I'm also adding some puffy tofu to this for protein. You can use normal tofu, whatever you like in this. You could also use vegan chicken if you want. And then I'm seasoning with soy sauce as well as white pepper. Black pepper works well too, but I like using white pepper in my fried rice. And then we're also gonna be adding in some pineapple. You can use fresh or frozen pineapple, just make sure it's chopped up, but it adds a really nice sweetness to the fried rice, which I really love and makes it something different and unique. Set those veggies aside after the, they have cooked through. And now we're gonna take some red curry paste. This is Thai red curry paste. It has lemongrass, kefir, lime leaves, ginger, all the Thai flavors that we want. And it's a lot easier just to use store-bought. If you have your own recipe, you can use that too. And then after that's cooked out a little bit, I'm also going to add in some leftover Chinese rice. I like using leftover rice because it has less moisture in it and it allows me to get a crispy crunch on my rice, which I love. And then continuously season with white pepper and some soy sauce and then add in your veggies and your cashew nuts once your rice has gotten a little bit crispy. I'm also adding in some herbs such as mint. Mint is something I really like using and then I also like to add in some cilantro or coriander, whatever you want to call it. And also a little bit of green onion. And then to add a brightness, and obviously this is Thai fried rice, we're gonna add some lime. I end up using an entire lime uh, for this to get the juice out of it, and it added this beautiful flavor to the rice. Give everything a nice stir, taste it, add in some more soy sauce if you need. And that's honestly it. I like to top my fried rice off with some coconut. Again, this is Thai fried rice, well, Thai inspired fried rice. So I love the crunch that the coconut gives finish off with some lime and there you guys have it. This is super easy and it's great to make in large batches so you guys can meal prep in advance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said before, be sure to check out the blog post down below for a full list of details on how to make the fried rice and I'll see you guys next week in another video.